All right, well, I spent the first part of the day shooting another video, a previous video that you've probably seen already out here. But I still have a little bit of time. And I've got a bait tight on here that I don't really use very much. Uh, I used to use these all the time. It's a Yum Swimming Dinger. And I just haven't used them pretty much since I've started using the Skinny Senkos. But uh, this one, I've got it rigged up kind of weird. It's on a jig head, a very small jig head. So getting a bite might not be hard, but actually getting a hook set might be kind of difficult. So what I'm doing today is I'm looking for bass on beds and I'm going to throw this out in front of them. Uh, the challenge is today because when bass are bedding, they usually grab stuff by the tail and they move it away from the bed and drop it. So the challenge today is to get one to actually eat the whole thing and land it. Uh, well, hopefully more than one, but we'll see. Oh, I had a bite there, but like I was saying at the beginning of the video here, they're just grabbing it by the tail, and he almost pulled it off the hook. So that's a the big risk is they might pull it off the hook entirely. There's actually a whole bunch of beds around here, but I don't actually see any fish. All right, so I just walked up and found a bed right here and spooked one away. I'm going to kind of wait until he comes back, throw it out that way. Oh, there's the fish. He's back. And of course I'm snagged. Got his attention. He's watching it. Of course, I'm snagged on a tree branch that's hanging out over the bed. I don't know where he went. I lost him. He's out over there. My bait's over here. I need to quit moving because I think he can see me. Okay, he's right there. He's coming towards it. looking at it he's trying to decide what he wants to do he didn't do anything okay he's coming up to it but he's just sitting there watching it not doing anything Come on. I think maybe this fish has been caught before. Oh, there's another a nice looking one over there. It's probably the breeding pair. They're about the same size though, so. Let me actually just throw over there by that one. Okay, these two fish are really finicky. He's right, right by it. Came up close to it. He's sort of circling around the other side, coming up behind it. Come on. Okay, here we go. He's getting right on it. He's just watching it. He's not doing anything. Okay, now he's getting real close to it. But, you know. He'll get up real close to it like he's about to bite it, and then he just kind of backs up. Oh, he's right on it. He's right on it there. But he didn't. He actually tapped it. But he didn't get it. Come on, you're right on top of it. Do something. This fish must have been caught before because he's super finicky. Like he just 
Like he knows what it is. He just darted off that way to chase off a bluegill or something. But he's got no interest in my bait. He's trying to scare it away without touching it. I mean, this is not a very big fish. And, you know, it doesn't make sense to waste this much time trying to catch him. Come on, just take it. Like, he's getting mad, but he still hasn't even touched it. But he's trying to scare it away. He's darting towards it, but then at the last second, he's either stopping or turning. He's got it by the tail. He bit the tail, but he didn't, he didn't even try to move it. He just bit the tail. Trying to send it a message. That was the first bite he's given me. But he just barely, barely tapped the tail. He's not trying to, he knows what it is, but he's trying to scare it away. Or he knows better anyway to bite it. There we go, come on. He bit the tail, he's, he's got it by the tail. I just, because he doesn't have the hook, so I just opened up my bail and let him take it. He's kind of, he's eating it. He's, well, he's not eating it, but he's swimming away with it. Got him. Got him. I had to let him just hold it until he finally decided to eat it. And he did. There we go. He's a little bit better than I thought he was going to be. That, I probably spent about an hour on this fish. And he was actually a little bit better than I expected him to be. But there we go. Uh, that was insane. He finally got so annoyed with it that he grabbed it, just barely grabbed it by the tail and started swimming off with it. And I opened up my bail to let him go so I didn't pull it out of his mouth. And I just let him run with it. And then he stopped and started kind of shaking it. And like you could see him like trying to reposition it in his mouth. And as soon as it disappeared from my view, I closed the bail and set the hook and he had it and he was on it. So there we go. Dead fishing. It might take a while to, to catch him, but they do eventually they do bite too bad I couldn't get the female but she wasn't that much bigger all right so uh, saw a couple of beds but I was only able to get that one fish uh, I think the reason I was only able to get that one fish is because I spent the majority of my time here trying to catch that one so uh, if they're not in the mood to eat, it can take a long time to to get them to bite. But it can be done if you're willing to sit there and spend a whole day on it. So, uh, I did spot a couple of big ones out here. And uh, that's pretty good news because there hasn't really been a strong population out here. And seeing the ones that were bedding down. Uh, I'm going to leave this place alone. I'm not going to come back here for a while. Until after the spawn, at least. And, you know, hopefully they can come back with some numbers you know bring the population back so anyway thanks for watching see you next time